Here are seven things to know for the day. Number one, drivers in Northeast Missouri, you may want to plan for a detour in Marion County. Happening today, County Road 418 to, from MM to 422 closes for black topping. That starts this morning from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. Number two takes us to Quincy, where North 18th Street from Chestnut to Maple Streets is about to be closed for phase two of a city project. The closure doesn't begin until next week, but it's set to last until at least Thanksgiving. The phase of the project will include street resurfacing, replacement of curb and gutter, and construction for new sidewalks. For detours, you can use either North 12th or 24th Street. And number three, and new this half hour, there's a recall alert this morning for you. Hy-Vee is voluntarily recalling seven of its Hy-Vee mealtime Asian entrees. After discovering the liquid egg used to make the fried rice contains milk, which is not declared on the product label there. You can find more information about this right now at KHQA.com. Number four, and new for our 530 half hour, newly signed New England Patriot wide receiver Antonio Brown is denying rape allegations from a former trainer. That trainer filed a lawsuit in Florida claiming Brown sexually assaulted her on three occasions. Brown's attorney calls the suit a money grab and described the interactions as, quote, a consensual personal relationship. And number five, and new this half hour, President Donald Trump says he will name a new national security director next week to replace the ousted John Bolton. The president cited policy disagreements with the hawkish Bolton, who submitted a resignation letter of just two sentences. Some lawmakers also chalked up the split to a personality conflict. Number six, we were just talking about this. It has been 18 years since 3,000 Americans lost their lives in the September 11th terrorist attacks. You're taking a live look now at one World Trade Center. Happening today, President Donald Trump will join Defense Secretary Mark Esper and Joint Chiefs Chairman Joseph Dunford in an observance at the Pentagon outside of Washington, D.C. There will be a ceremony at the World Trade Center site in New York City and at the Flight 93 Memorial in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. And number seven this morning, it's very mild this morning as well. Temperatures back into the 70s, got heat and humidity back this afternoon. Uh, but we'll talk about that chances for rain and a cool down heading our way.